All right. How is everyone doing? Welcome, citizens. Chedarius here. So, I tried to stream this earlier today, and everything was kind of messed up with my sound. So I'm just going to redo it, because... Because uh, <clears throat> it's fun. So... Um... I completely uninstalled and reinstalled my NVIDIA drivers to uh, help troubleshoot some issues I was having with OBS. Tons of stuttering and all kinds of strange stuff, and I couldn't quite figure it out. But I noticed that when I, uh, kind of as last-ditch effort, just completely <clears throat> uninstalled and reinstalled the NVIDIA drivers, started from scratch, everything was working. Um, then I would put in the optimizations, optimizations for Star Citizen that uh, I had seen a bazillion times. It seemed to help on my older desktop computer. Uh, <clears throat> you know, there's lots of YouTubes and Articles that people have written about it. I'd put those in, OBS would stop working. It was a real pain in the ass. So, uh, let's take a look at what I actually have set now. <clears throat> um, I'm running on a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro with an NVIDIA 3060. Is Gaming laptops are literally the cheapest way to get a gaming workstation right now um i would rather just build a desktop um for some of the stuff but uh you know graphics cards are just too dang expensive now thanks miners anyways uh <clears throat> easiest thing if anyone wants to try and copy this to do is to just click the restore button and i've literally only changed like one thing uh, on the global settings. And that is the shader cache size. So <clears throat> that does seem to have some uh, some improvement uh, for uh, your FPS frames per second. Uh, but you know your results may vary. Um, and then <clears throat> I did create a couple of other settings that do also seem to help specifically for Squadron 42. Um, and uh, it, it's nice because it makes them bold when you've changed them. Uh, I've done low latency mode. Um, <clears throat> low latency mode. Um, does uh, seem to, you know, give me a bit of a performance boost. Um, and then uh, triple buffering. Now, um, triple buffering is interesting. Because, <clears throat> it, it, you know, it says that it, it should improve performance while vertical sync is also turned on. And I actually know notice the opposite that if I turn vertical sync off with triple buffering on I get a little bit of a boost within Star Citizen I'm not really gonna think too much why it just happens to be that way so those are my settings there here are the settings that I'm using <coughs> for um, my user.cfg just doing 1080p. Um, at the moment, I, I have set my max FPS at 30 uh, because that's what I stream at. And uh, why why do anything more? Uh, but uh, for demonstration purposes, I'll just put it up to 59. 
Oh, what the heck? Let's do 59.9. I've seen other people do that. Um. <coughs> Running in a full screen borderless window. I don't find any of these settings to actually do anything interesting for me uh, at this point. So I have remarked them all out because they don't really seem to do anything. Um, I'm running dual screens uh, off my laptop, so I have an external monitor that when you do that <clears throat> with the Lenovo, it's always running off of the NVIDIA card. But I still have um, the NVIDIA card, or the uh, um, Star Citizen app, and the launcher set to exclusively use the NVIDIA card. And uh, got Riva Tuner going here. And now we wait. <clears throat> yeah, last week I made the mistake of installing Reshade FX to try and <clears throat> get a, a hotkey or something that I could use to uh, change the uh, the gamma settings on the fly. And um, it didn't work, and it screwed up all kinds of stuff with OBS, which is, and then ever since then, I've been having strange OBS problems. I completely uninstalled uh, Reshade, but was still having issues, so. Um, all right, so Persistent Universe. I'm just going to run around <clears throat> Everest Harbor, because that is what I know. Uh, um, so I, I, yeah, that, that kind of started all my problems. I, I don't think it was actually the cause of them. Um, it turns out was um, setting the the virtual sync uh, here uh, virtuals uh, verticals not virtual vertical sync too fast um, will completely hose uh, my OBS stream. It basically just does constant um, jittering and stuttering. <clears throat> so that was just the one setting that I found that I can't do with OBS and have it working properly. Um, OBS, I still, I still can't ever get game capture to work. Don't know why. Um, it just doesn't. So right now I'm actually doing. Uh, display capture. When I normally stream, I've been just using the uh, window capture. So Star Citizen is an interesting piece because it is an unoptimized alpha mess of a client. And you can see that I am only using, you know, less than 50% of my CPU. <clears throat> and only about 40% of my GPU. Um, and, you know, I, I've limited my frames per second to 59. I will never get there. Never get there. Uh, it is something else that is holding back, uh, you know, certainly is not my CPU or my GPU. Um, I have, you know, uh, I actually upgraded the DDR4 RAM 
um, in this laptop, and uh, I don't think it's the memory either. My hard drive <coughs> is not being taxed very much, so it's just something about the the system that uh, Star Citizen just cannot maximize these things uh, to save its life. Um, I, I have a feeling that when um, they do implement a Vulcan update, that things will <coughs> take a serious turn for the better. And we'll see it actually start using more CPU and GPU percentages. And, you know, I mean, look at all the headroom here. Um, you know, it, the CPU jumped up to 70% for one brief shining moment. For some reason, I don't know if you all experience this or not, these elevators in Everest Harbor are just frame rate killers. Every time you go by here, it, they just die. Um, so... You know, low low 30s to low 40s is typically what I see on Everest Harbor. Um, and here I'll I'll switch to uh, sync off, and we'll see a <coughs> modest bump. Maybe five, four or five frames per second. So, isn't that fascinating? Um, and that's you know with triple the triple buffering, seems to give me you know instead of thirty frames per second through here, now I get you know thirty five, thirty six. <coughs> So what else do I have set in here? I have found that the game runs far better on very high, no matter what. Uh, medium on everything else, borderless windows, nothing special. <coughs> Some people say sharpening all the way up or all the way down seems to make a difference for them. It doesn't, doesn't seem to do anything. I do run with my gamma kind of all over the place. Um, find that dimly lit environments like this just um, look better and you can see more detail. The gamma's up higher. On super bright planets like like here. Let's see if we can see the difference. Uh, you can turn it way down and see yeah, look at all the detail in the mountains. Uh, you know, there that are washed out before. But, you know, now you look on the inside and it's... <laughs> HDR would be lovely. This is not an HDR monitor. So, uh... <clears throat> options, graphics, return to game. Yeah, I'll put it back at 50. Why not? So, yeah, look at all that detail that you've lost. Oh, noobs. Hi. Anyways. Uh, those are my settings. Um. Yeah, so. Generally then, <clears throat> what I end up doing is just switching it to run at 30 frames per second record everything at 30 frames per second and a CPU and GPU just run even that much cooler and I don't really notice a difference in the gameplay at all um, seems to work fun wow 40 40 here talking um, 30 frames per second hey it's what we all watch television at you know movies used to be 24 f uh, frames per second Nobody seemed to care about that. So, uh, I think we're probably all a little too obsessed with 
the specifics. If you can get anywhere between 24 to 60 frames per second in a game, in any game, <coughs> you're doing just fine. You've got to stop uh, measuring things uh, by you know, how many frames per second over 100 we can get, because at that point it just doesn't matter. Any, any more frames per second than that, I just don't think are, are noticeable. So anyways, uh, that is my settings. And, uh, you know, I guess I'm mostly making this video for myself, because hardly anyone will watch it. But, uh, I will probably try and put some stuff in the notes uh, later. Um, uh, with just, uh, you know, my settings and stuff, so anyone that ever has any questions, they can just refer to that. Right, have a good one, everyone. Bye.